I will admit, when, when we uh, spoke about it last year as a thing to do this year, I, I wasn't convinced it was ever going to happen. I thought, yeah, 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 riding in Thailand. But here we are, and it, it, it came true. Always going to happen for me. Dreams can come true. And I will say, it has been pretty good, isn't it? Very really enjoyable, oh. I would say. No, really, really good. Really, really enjoyed it. First day out, riding with the roadies. The Kua Hin roadies. Yeah. Met up with you. The guys down at the meet point. The traffic lights are one, one. We always get this wrong. One, one, two, two, one, two, one, one, one five, five, whatever. We know where it is. We're one of those. Yeah. Past the 7 Eleven. Yeah. Keep on going. A little bit of rain in the air. Never was quite rain. A bit worried I'd, somebody's saying, I didn't bring my rain jacket. <laughs> you need that in 33 degree heat, even if it is drizzly. Uh, it was all right. But it kept the heat off. It did. Uh, it was right. It was quite overcast that first day, wasn't it? And the temperature was a little bit lower. For, yeah, for the first half. Second yeah. half, then the sun came out. Then you, re you remembered where you were. But yeah, that was. I think that was a really nice, enjoyable sort of 50 mile, 84k, was it? It was around that. Yeah. I think again, same when I came back in August with the family. Lesson learned. Acclimatizing is very hard to do. Uh, you know, you just you can't get lung at a lung. You can't get air in your lungs fast enough if you put your foot down or you hit a decent incline. The humidity here is something you have to remember. Your heart rate goes sky high very quick. I think that was one thing I found, quite the reasonable pace. No worries of that, it's, it's just, times, yeah. you just seem to have to work much harder at getting air in your lungs. Yeah, you have, you have to work much harder in general. I mean, to be fair to the guys, the roadies, you know, they ride here every you know, three, four times a week. They know their terrain, they're fit here in this climate and this you know, humidity, they're good. You know, they've got, they're very, very speedy. You don't come here to Hua Hin necessarily for the climbing because there ain't too much of that about. I mean, there's a few, I was told there's a few little bits here and there, maybe a bit similar to home, short and nasty. One thing you do come for is a community, the Hua Hin roadies. And I think that's what made this riding in this area for us. The guys are absolutely great to ride with from start to finish. Really good bunch from all over the world. Some live here, some travel here, but every time you ride with them, you instantly feel part of that group. Don't feel like an outsider. You know, I think you give credit to Chaperone and Craig. We never, never left us our side. Always made sure we were okay. Always met us where he needed to meet us if we needed him. Cost you a banana smooth every time. <laughs> but we've got to love Craig. And of course, the one thing I was happy with for sure is that uh, they always stop for a coffee break. Your favourite joy of cycling. I've got to make sure I get my coffee and cake uh, dose in when I'm out riding. Yeah, because the first stop was just near the end, wasn't it? It was, yeah, we weren't too far away from that. So you, you, got, you got most of it done and then you could kind of settle back relax and uh, enjoy your coffee and your slice of uh, homemade cake. What did you have? Banana and? I think it's banana and blueberry. Yeah. You could have a bit good. of that with a, with a coffee. Good good day's first ride. And a nice little speedy finish down into uh, in town, down the, down oh, the main hill. You had some helpful right. driver, just, uh, you know, halt your progress for a little bit. Yeah, a nice, no, a good sharp, short descent down into the Hawaiian near the train station, followed by the obligatory pickup. Pulls out when you're hitting 41 miles an hour and you're on rim brakes or carbon wheels. Yeah, stopping power, uh, not there, but hey, managed to do it. Thank you very much. Yeah, and straight back into the hotel. Traffic around town, I mean, it's, a, it's, it's been all right. I wouldn't say they're too bad here. I mean, it's a little bit hectic, certainly. Uh, maybe rush hour. You things fine past you. It is when you come back from the ride because you, you, you have, like we say, you, you haven't mentioned it. You, you know, you're heading out at 6:30, 7 o'clock in the morning at the latest. You're getting back, you know, between 10 and 11 to avoid the heat. And with that, you then hit, you know, a bit more traffic. But I'd say no worse than driving during town. We've got one of the other exciting things about day one, you know, that uh, added to the spice of the ride was. Uh, the interesting, uh, you know, got a bit of interest from the dogs on the side of the road. Got to keep a little eye out for those fellas. Especially when you've got white bone marrow legs. Indeed. They like yours, didn't they, more than mine? They did seem to be keen on my legs. Looked like an interesting snack. But they were, they were all right, they're friendly enough. Some of them, you know, kept you company for a little while, running alongside you. <laughs> Napping in your heels. Just, <laughs> you managed to get your, what you call it, uh, managed to help you put your foot down a bit. Probably. Yeah, making sure you weren't hanging around for too long. That was right. I guess you just got to keep an eye out for them. And the roads as well, they weren't too bad really. I think a lot of the main roads we were on, they were, they were pretty decent services. Excellent. Certainly when we compare them to uh, crappy stuff we've got in the UK. You do venture off onto some of the little minor roads and side roads, and it can be a little bit more sketchy. A few holes here and there, but there's, it's easy enough to see. Got to watch out for a little bit of gravel here and there. But overall, no issues with the roads, really. Fine, fine. And that was ride one on day one, pretty much wrapped up, back to base.
Uh, day two, yeah, so we went past Black Mountain. We were up, uh, we had a little bit of a line, we treated ourselves, got up, up at 6.30. Yeah, half an hour. Out the door by just after seven. On our bikes about 7.15. But this was our own ride, this was not This was a solo ride, ride yeah. although we did nab the GPX yeah, of course. Yeah. route from someone else and pretty much started off doing what we'd done yesterday on day one, but in reverse. Up, up, up that short, up sharp hill. climb. Yeah. Which was all right. Fine. Uh, and then onto the road out to Black, is it Black Mountain? Black Mountain Golf Black Course, Golf yes. Course. The water park around where there. the villas are. Yep. Some nice sights around there. See a few uh, beautiful villas. See it. Beautiful. Uh, you seem to be doing a lot of kind of uh, realtor house, house shopping, you know, looking at where you could be in. And then we uh, went past the second half of it, which was, was it Banyan? Banyan, yeah. That's another, is that another big, big golf club? Big golf, golf course. course. Yeah, lots and lots of housing development. And then when you go around that area, as the guys always point out, it's always quite a sight to behold, is the, um, you know, the, the whole farmland for pineapples. That's one of its main exports. Actually quite a stunning bit of scenery. Riding through, round what they call the mountain, you know, the mountains around there. Uh, large hills to most people. But covered, if, you know, the land is covered in pineapple farms. I did like that route, it's quite a nice road along there. I found it a little bit undulating, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, but just the scenery and the setting. It was quite quiet, not much traffic, quite picturesque to look at. Beautiful golf course, two so two beautiful golf courses, Black Mountain and Banyan Hill. I did like that. And then we ended up coming back out, heading back into town on the side of what basically is a motorway, was, or an A road, yeah, yeah. as we would call it. To which we discovered on today's final ride, there's a cycle path all the way down the side of it. But hey, if you live in a... It was a bit just what I'm... Um, it was fine, not... but it was... So when you've been overtaken at 70 k an hour by a humongous two, you know, two-staged HGV. Just felt, I felt like, you know, you give me a little hurry up, keep me going. I need to go in for breakfast. Plus when I got a scratch or stung on my face, I wanted to go home and put some cream on. But we finished that off, got back and we even got back in time for breakfast as well. Made it for the hotel. Just as it was really starting to warm up. It was hot, so that, man. hot that day. Was good timing. Hot day. And then we were on to day three. Day three. Sir Don's Friday ride. It was the Friday ride social. Quite a large group today as well. It was a good, good group. Don, good group. Don was there. Craig. Uh, although technically speaking, I believe it was Ryan's route. Another, another lovely guy who helped us get home today, Ryan. And that was back out again through Banyan. It was, yeah. So we went out there, the same road. It seems to do a little bit quicker today. I don't know if we're in a group or, uh, you know. It seems we were tired yesterday, to be fair. I think it might be right. We had a bit of energy back today, so it didn't seem quite as long. Got that bit done. And then a good trek around some very nice back roads. Lovely scenery again. Yeah. And we wrote that best bit, I thought, I don't you think you got on the cameras, we rode through the Thai temple. And then the roads took us all the way out to the wonderful beach of Samurai Yacht. I was, I didn't know that it was a bit of a treat, I thought. I didn't know that was coming up. And that was um, you, something. I thought I told you we were going out to the beach. I, yeah, but I didn't know what it was. I thought, oh yeah. But it's just quite a special ride on that road. Again, yeah. very quiet. It was, it's about, I think they said it's about 20k ish from Hawaiian town. But yeah, it's a beautiful beach, stunning coastline. Very picturesque. And great coffee shop. Yeah, very, very cheap coffee shop. I'd probably skip the latte next time and go with something else. It was a bit uh, a bit Costa, coffee, latte. Full fat milk, mate. It's served in the old uh, glass, glass mug, glass jar. Any waffles and bananas in here? Uh, uh, no, I did. Spread. Yeah, that helps because I didn't really make breakfast this morning. So uh, having the waffles and banana set me up for the rest of the ride home. Now, I was a little bit, I think today was, felt like the hottest day when we were out, but I think that's the sun was out, wasn't it? Early the sun was out from the minute we got, yeah, it's been, I mean, look at the weather now, it's a beautiful day, but the sun was out from the minute we got up to the minute we came back and it's still out. I think I had God, a look. it was hot. I think I had a look when we set off, maybe around 8, 39, and it was up to about 26, 27, already at that point. And then it's low 30s. But again, the thing you have to remember here, even if it says 31, the real feel is probably 34, 35. And then there's humidity. Yeah, no. You sweat a lot here, a lot. Even if you think you don't sweat, you sweat a lot. Normally I don't have too much of an issue with sweating um, or even being out of the sun. Who, who would know with my, as I say, it takes a lot to keep this complexion this pale, but could have done with a, a headband, a John McEnroe sweatband. Uh, Off at me all the time. I noticed it was seem to be a common theme amongst the riders here and I was missing out. And I didn't no, miss no out. salty tears in my eyes, mate. Could have done with that today. It was uh, very warm today. Starting to drip into my contacts. And I don't think there's ever a truer statement when you say it's only hot until you stop. I fly to this, to, to ride it out here. Yeah. You just don't want to stop. Every time I hit a red light, you just, 
you could just feel the, the burn starting. Yeah, it's factor 50 all the way, every, every time. And then we, uh, a couple of group left a little bit before us because they need to get back. And then um, Ryan very, very kindly took us from Samuel Yacht all the way back to Hua Hin uh, and a few little cheeky back roads. Well, no, so we started off down the coast, didn't we? We stuck with the coast for quite a good few kilometers, which is beautiful, turning inland, going all the back roads. And then he took us on the high, uh, cycling highway lane cool. that runs next to the motorway that we keep going on, yep. that breeds danger, um, all the way back. And then as he lives down the, that part of town, he took us through the back roads, didn't we? Heading back into town the other way, which was really good, really good run back. Not too busy either. All in all, a very good day out. I think it was about, eight, again, 80K, 50 odd miles. Good run today. I can't remember what I ride. Three hours. Time was, but it was something three hours just, or something just, just over, just three, over hours. three hours. Yeah. And as I say, when it's done, it's done. It's done. And therefore ends the three days of riding with the Hawaiian Roadies. When are you coming back? Always come back.